So what about the black Hebrew Israelites, or as they sometimes call themselves, the Hebrew Israelites? Are they a dangerous cult? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, yes, absolutely. You might have some who are very mild in their views, who simply believe that as blacks that they are the original descendants of Israel, and they preach salvation through Jesus like anyone else. Okay, that's fine. But the ones that you find on the street corners, the ones that you find aggressively putting forth their message, they are full of hostility, they are full of hatred, they are bigoted, they are Jew haters. In other words, someone like me, they claim that we are the manifestation of Satan, that the white man is the manifestation of Satan. Many of them do not preach the Jesus of the scripture in any real respect. They preach a cult figure, Yeshua, or whatever name they give to him. And they would say that basically all blacks are the original descendants of Israel. So are there black Jews? Yes, absolutely. Like there are white Jews. Are there black Israelites? Yes, just like there are white Israelites. So are there black Jews? Yes, absolutely. So are there black Jews? Yes, absolutely. But are all blacks the descendants of the people of Israel? No, of course not. Categorically not. That is not so. That's part of their false teaching. Many of them are thoroughly legalistic in their teaching and then add in other customs. They are a cult. Here's what Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. He had this concern. He said this, If someone comes and proclaims another Jesus than the one we proclaim, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or if you accept a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it readily enough. There is something happening now with the Hebrew Israelites, with the black Hebrew Israelites, especially in inner cities, especially in different uh, African-American communities in America, where they are gaining more and more following, where they are gaining more and more following, where they are gaining more and more following. But because they bring people into bondage, not freedom, because they practice hate and promote hate rather than love, because they preach another Jesus, when we bring the real message of truth and liberty and salvation through the Messiah, not not through a white Jesus, not through a white Jesus, not through a white Jesus, not through a white Jesus. Not through a white Jesus, not through a white Jesus. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Yeah. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And also, a sincere Shalom, salutations, peace, Shalom, peace to the elect. You, you elect Israelites out there, whoever, whoever you may be, scattered abroad okay I want to do this video here on this guy um, which I've done videos on before I remember Apostle Tahar have done a video on him okay and some other camps as well uh, this guy <laughs> you know it's all about truth you know and that's what we gotta say and truth is always can be hurtful truth can be beautiful and truth can be hateful okay now it's, it's so much to go into in this. I'll just try to keep it short and hit points. You know, I remember going to uh, Sunday school church. You know, I was pushed into those churches. And, you know, old school mothers had a way of doing things where they were trying to save their children some kind of way. You know, at least it seemed that way. Uh, feminism came, took over, and, you know, everything went in a different direction. But at the end of the day, the Christian church has never saved us. And also... The, uh, they never taught us anything in a Christian church. 
now we're doing our research we found out the Israelites were so called black now they're saying we found out Jesus was so called black this guy admits Jesus was not white and but instead of making a campaign that Jesus was not white and trying to come to his true identity because it does matter because the scripture says it matters John the Revelator uh, quoted it in the scripture to prove what the one you call Jesus looked like they don't want to fight about that they just want to fight about what we're saying but part of what we're saying is the lies and the root of this wickedness and evil that was put on us we're having to break those those uh, strongholds of uh, religion false religion that was put on us and this is why we're destroyed as a people because as long as you look at television and all the great people represent white supremacy you'll never feel to yourself you know having an esteem with yourself and feel like you're better than what you what they told you you were. So this is why you see these guys running around and they're behaving. Our people behaving like they believe. They're lost. Okay. Anyway, this is the the, uh, the hypocrisy. Okay. Everything according to the Bible. Uh, and what it is, to be honest, this is why these uh, these so-called Christian and this man is. His faith is of the Jewish religion, and I didn't think they believed in Jesus, but that's another video, you know. <laughs> and this is why we know you jakes are getting all tricked up. You know, they know what they're doing. But, for truth's sake, you know, this is what they're promoting on us. And if we believe according to the Bible, what it says in the Bible, and it changes us and uh, make us better people, the people of this world, the rulers of this world, don't like that. They love the, the free slavery from prison. You know? They love the adultery. They love the, the, the uh, laws that's passed. And then why isn't this guy making campaigns about same-sex marriage according to the church, according to the Bible? And why isn't he going into those churches and saying, hey, this is wrong, you shouldn't do that. But they will never do that, will they? See, along with you know the reason why the one you call Jesus Yahweh was persecuted it was because of the truth people hated the truth people don't like the Bible that's why they have to come to us get that trash off the corner why only somebody who's committing adultery uh, poisons uh, uh, ingesting poisons or putting poisons in the community those are the only people that are for being against the Bible but the minute we say you can't eat this no, you shouldn't eat crabs or shrimp. Even science has proved, proven that. You shouldn't have same-sex marriage. Well, science proves that too. You can't procreate. And I don't care about no fetal fertilization. You're still using the process. Okay? So the minute we don't do all these things, gangster rap. As long as you gangster rap, that's cool. But nobody will say get that garbage out of here, right? Anyway, Psalms 83 and 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, okay? Uh, I'm just quoting. I think it said, they have said, let us cut them off from being a nation. You know, that the name of Israel may no more be remembered or no more be in remembrance, okay? That's what they're doing, okay? So, what is evil according to this world, Okay? Amos 5 and 15 says hate the evil and love the good. So is this guy really hating the evil? Also, I also want to say that he goes into that the um, he's saying there's black Jews, there's white Jews, there's all Jews. There. But they, they, and that's true because you got it, uh, lineages of us. Uh, our lineage is scattered amongst nations and we look like all nations. But the root of it, that's what I want to get to. This is what we're saying. The root of it was that you had so-called black people as Israelites. Okay? There was no, you know, Edomite Israelites, Edomite Hebrews, but there was no Edomite Israelites. And there's still no Edomite Israelites, but there was no technically Edomite looking Israelites. You know, going way back in the ancient times. Well, now you have uh, so-called white people who look white who are, Isra who are Israelites. So this is why you can't compare all Israelites together and you can't, you know, simply say that 
this is a hate group they teach all blacks when you have a group like us that don't teach that it's all about black people you know I don't think no Israelite well there's some of those Israelites that teach that but the majority of us Israelites at One West we don't teach that and I'll say definitely Great Millstone because that's who I you know, represent through the spirit but we don't teach that all Israelites are going to look black you know and I, and I know the One West you know they have so called Mexicans so called Puerto Ricans Ephraimite Ishakar okay Zebulonites they have all different kinds so we don't go in color but this is this guy who's trying to take us and put us, wrap us up and put us under the banner of a black Hebrew wicked cult you know now I agree there's some, some Hebrew Israelites who act like black cults you know I agree but that's the same way with some Christians you got Christians who teach that men can have different wives you know a, a Christian based groups that go spin off of Christianity and they teach men can have different wives they teach uh, other various doctrines but they will never link them who they considered wicked in the world they will never link them to all Christian doctrines okay Psalms 97 and 10 ye that love the Lord hate evil okay so what are we saying is so evil that the Most High is only coming sending his son to come for an elect of the nation of Israel see this is evil to these guys but it was okay for the sons of wicked the wicked to set up a society that separate themselves from us set themselves in a place that says that they're the holy people and we're not it was okay for them to do it okay to say that they're the chosen of this world that was okay but when we step up and we learn the history and the truth out of it to combat the lies this also proves that this is not working okay it says he preserved the soul of his saints who is his saints the saints are the children of Israel okay that's who the saints are let's go to Psalms 148 I believe it's 148 and 14 let's see that's who the saints are okay it says he also exalted the horn of his people which when you look that up is talking about the Israelites okay the praise of all his saints even unto the children of Israel a Lord near unto him praise ye the Lord well wait a minute that sounds racist that sounds like a hateful words so to all you people who are Christian Bible believing Christians you would have to understand that the truth will not the truth will make you free but the truth will not be liked and the truth will be hated you should understand that Christianity of this world is not of the world that we follow okay the, the doctrine we follow and the Christian of the Christianity has always taught you to stay soft go along get along everybody loves one another why are they pushing more draconian laws on you? They're pushing vaccines on your children, ge genetically modified foods, all set up by the Christian way. <laughs> sick, you know, sick. Uh, okay, um, let me read that again Psalm 97 and 10 ye that love the Lord hate evil preserve the soul of, the, of his saints he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked he said he deliver deliver from out of the hand of the wicked okay let's go on to you know because the, the, the real reason why they want us to stop and the real, real reason why our people side with the, the sons of the wicked because they have grown accustomed to to wickedness they have grown accustomed to being able to do what you want dress the way you want you know I mean we go out at camp it looks like a porn show <laughs> it really does you know so that's that's cr that's crazy you know um, again we never said the Israelites were all um, black you know 
they're just you know going back you know the most high when he created his uh his son to be an Edomite just doesn't make no sense in a time that we grow up that anybody who looks like that want to be get suntan lotion on and be you know to get some skin complexion then this guy go on to say that oh he wasn't black but he was an olive color our own people fall for that madness olives is either green red or black which one is it he's not green and he's not red the scriptures prove that so what is the other color so called black dark okay so I don't know why the, if he's such a righteous person the Christian church teaches all kinds of crazy doctrines why is he fighting against the Christian church uh, the, the, the fight you know that has these crazy doctrines they are allowed to have same sex marriage that's not according to the Bible I'm just saying that's what it says so where's his videos on that okay maybe he tries to sneak it in I don't know I don't watch his channel Isaiah 5 and 20 and this is going to our people too mainly you know Woe to them that call evil good right they call this stuff you see around you good they love it and good evil they call what we teach is evil so this man said that we we preach hate and we uh, we uh, push out doctrine now as long as you say that everybody can make it it's not hateful that's what it boils down to as long as you say everybody can get on board it's not hateful meanwhile we're set up in a system that they claim to leave no children behind but we're set up in a system where athletes uh, entertainers get paid more than surgeons <laughs> if you could believe that that's the society we live in they don't they want everybody to jump on board in Christianity everybody can get on the chariots of God but meanwhile you got our children stuck in these ghettos you're shooting them up with